Five people were shot Sunday morning in Capaya County after a party took a violent turn. And 12 News' Brandon Rains is live from the Capaya County Sheriff's Office. Brandon, I'm told things were chaotic. What can you tell us? Yeah, Jeremy, the Copaya County Sheriff's Office says this all stemmed from a block party happening Sunday morning on Dentville Road, which quickly grew out of control. The Copaya County Sheriff's Office is trying to figure out what led to five people being shot on Dentville Road Sunday morning. Neighbors were awakened by the gunfire, and they say the scene was nothing short of chaotic. I hear all the gunshot out there, and I saw at least two or three policemen out there trying to clear the scene up, trying to clear the highway to get everybody to leave. Here this gun is shot, then I got up and looked out the door, and all the police and everybody around right here. Copaya County Sheriff's Office says they received complaints about the party around midnight. When officers arrived at the scene, they say hundreds began running from the property. That's when gunfire erupted. They were shooting from one end to the other. There were just so many, so many people. I never see stuff happen like this. Lawrence Miller tells 12 News his niece and nephew threw the party. He says he tried to end the party fearing something bad would happen. When you have a crowd, they're going to they gonna show out. And so I told them, I will for them not to have here, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't listen to it. Residents say they're shocked something so violent could happen in their typically quiet neighborhood. It's a nice neighborhood. You know, it's out from the city about four or five miles. and. You see staying in Jackson that happened like that, but you never think it happened in your front yard. Copaya County Sheriff's Office says there are currently no known suspects or motive. They are asking the public to come forward with any information. The names of the victims have not yet been released. The Capayo County Sheriff's Office says that two people were airlifted to UMMC Hospital. Two others were treated, three others were treated at Capayo County Medical Center. We will bring you more as we learn more. Reporting live in Capayo County, Brandon Rains for 12 News.